All right. Um, guess we're playing this game now. We're gonna go re-siege back the <laughs> Norwegian capital. Make sure we have our best warriors here. He's Craven and has cancer, so I'm not sure why he's a commander. I'm not gonna send the emperor into battle, so we'll have you lead the center, and then we'll have these two guys on the flanks. Right. Okay. It's a risky landing, but our superior troops win out. Hell yeah. Knock it over. Knock over the temple. Make sure... Ah! I knew it. I knew they were going to try to resiege that shit. Luckily, we have a harbor this time. So we can just land right on top of them. They could actually win that, because I didn't wait for our morale to recover. Did that just wipe our whole army? That just wiped our whole army. Okay, so, time to reassess. Uh, we need a new chaplain, this uh, dude will do just fine, proselytize, Gwyneth, still Catholic, yeah. We need to check ourselves before we wreck ourselves here. Um, that... Yeah, that was not good. Alright, we're just going to raise everybody. We're just going to bring everyone to the party. Get on the boat, get on the boat, get on the boat. Even though you're in rebellion, get on the boat. Boat. I wish there was a faster way to do that. This there's this is one of my remaining gripes with CK2. Um, for Wales, we'll just have everybody embark from a single province to save time. Even though it's not the most efficient way to do it. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Get on that boat. You can come get on this boat. Everybody's getting on boats. Oh, he had boats. I just didn't see those boats. So the, uh... Fine. Yeah, Fraticelli's. Oh, I'm so scared. So the Vikings chased the knights into the sea at the Battle of, uh... The Battle of the Orkney... Or the Shetlands there. And since we're deeply in debt, we're not going to be able to rebuild that retinue for quite a while. That's another weird... Just a little weird thing about CK2 is if... If you have ships in port, they can't retreat onto the ships. The ships actually have to be out to sea, I believe is how it works. Um, or else they just get stack wiped. So, this should be enough boats. Someone very loudly honking outside my window. I apologize about that. Uh, you can't just give land to anyone who asks. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Alright, do I have enough vote boats for all my dudes to get on the boat? Get on the boat. Okay. Actually, we should... Here's what we should do. We should group up our fleet, all of our fleets, right here. Then we should all land on the pharaohs on this smaller stack. Oh shit, forgot some guys. You also need to be on the boat. Get on the boat. I really did not see this being a difficult war. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. Sell me the weird potion. 
Feels good. Feels good, Mang. All you guys. Oh yeah, we want to land at the harbor so we don't have a penalty to combat. Cool. Not messing around this time. <laughs> See, I broke my rule. I have my eyes set on a title, but my spy master has advised me to forget about the title, saying I would invoke too much wrath if I try to claim it. My wife is doing everything but telling me outright I should pursue the title. Uh, I can gain one intrigue or ambitious or yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pursue the title. Awesome. Becoming ambitious at the age of 53. That's still enough time to get some shit done. Um. Robber bands, yeah. Our our economy is in in shambles. There's uh there's no way around that. Yeah, I broke my own rule of not calling my entire realm to war, uh, and that that has harmed us in this case. All right, over these two little stupid islands. They're not really stupid islands. They're actually great islands. I'm not saying that just to be diplomatic. I'm actually, I think that the Pharaohs and the Shetlands are awesome. I'd love to visit them sometime. One of my favorite bands is from the Pharaohs. All right, get back on the boat. Of course we have dangerous factions now. Um... Well, fuck. Word honorary title. Venerable Elder, there we go. And you can also be my cupbearer. How's that? Is this, he's just... The Duke of Wicca has a unilateral elective succession faction. I'm not too worried about that. Really? Really? Oh man, this is getting tiresome. Go to hell! Yes! We killed the king! Suitable revenge for all the shit we've had to go through in this war. And we captured a high chief. That's what I'm talking about. If you guys hadn't insisted on continually raiding us for hundreds of years, this never would have happened. Alright, so I think we have to go siege the pharaohs one more time. Let's hope we have good reinforcements, sure. Sounds good. Or win like one more battle. Yeah, go ahead, call the Chief of Ostlandit, see if I care. Refuse the revocation of the County of Dublin. What's going on? Didn't I disallow internal wars? Yeah, Vassal War Declaration is supposed to be external only, but I guess if someone refuses a... Uh, if someone refuses a revocation, they are considered outside the law, technically. Maybe that's that's what's going on. If you siege back if you siege back that province before I end this war, so help me. So help me. So help me Tetzcatlapoca. Uh someone in my dungeon became a cleric. The amount of fucks that I give is insignificant. Raised in the struggle. <laughs> One of my uh, friends on Facebook who watches this series, I, I made a post about 
how 20, uh, 2016 was kind of a crappy year, and, and they said it, they, they commented that, in a way, we've all been raised in the struggle in reference to this series. All right, done. Holy War for Orkney has ended. Motherfuckers. Can I disband? Nope, of course I can't, because there's probably Vikings somewhere that are causing me to have a... Not going to see the realm prosper yet. We've still got some war to do. They're sieging my capital. Which is still booming, thankfully. I don't think you can actually reduce... I don't think you can actually reduce the prosperity unless you take at least one holding. Even if you, you know, take all of the gold. All right. Uh, and it looks like, yeah, the King of Alba has died, so we need to hand it out to someone else. Oh, I also control too much land here. Build a new holding and destroy the tribal settlement. No, we'll leave, we'll leave that to someone else. We're not going to pay for that shit. Um, so we need to find some new counts of the Isles. So we're going to search all. We're going to look for men who are not already a ruler. They need to be my religion and my culture. Uh, adult is preferred. And they need to have good stewardship. They need to not be ambitious. Uh, for diplomacy isn't great. This guy. Grant landed title. Can be the Count of Shetland. Nine fourteen, and he's not ambitious. Wow. Okay. Great. Yeah, you can be the Count of the Pharaohs. We'll go ahead and create a top level level title. We can't afford to create a top level title. Never mind. We'll deal with that later. Um, open council position. We need a steward. We're not going to give it to a revolt leader. Um, so we need to hand out the kingdom, though. So Galloway is a contender, actually. Moray and Albany hold lands outside the de jure Scotland. So they are automatically disqualified. Meaning it's going to be either this kid or the Isles. He has children. Actually, it doesn't matter because he's a viceroy, but he's ambitious. Damn it. I don't want to give it to anyone who holds land outside of Jure, Scotland. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess I gotta give it to him. Grant Viceroyality, all the... Cool. Well, he likes me now, so that's good. Steward. Uh, yeah, the Viceroy of Ireland could be my steward to ensure his loyalty. We'll have him uh, collect some taxes for us. Anything else? Minor titles. Commander, not Craven. High Marshal, not Craven. Sure. Gotcha. All right. What else? Designated Regent. Some with good diplomacy and good stewardship. Uh, this guy. And ambition. We're not going to worry about that right now. We're not going to worry about that right now. I think we're good. Righteous imprisonment. Any plots against people that I care about? Uh, the Viceroy of Alba. He's just going to fabricate a claim. Wants to kill my kinsman. I don't care. All right. Vikings gone. Boom. Done. Stand down, everybody. All troops will be disbanded. All fleets will be disbanded. Now we got to get out of debt, and 
rebuild our retinue. You know what? I will. I'll let's do see the realm prosper. Let's take a five year break. Get our economy back in order. And in 1115, we will return to the business of um, oh, all these freaking revolts. Somebody died who was apparently my heir, I think, is what happened. Uh, why did I have it on him and not on Gergist? He has better stats. Maybe I was voting for him, but everyone wants Edward instead. That's okay. I don't care. They both have good stat okay stats. I mean, Edward doesn't have very good stewardship, but I think we can work with that. Laws. Any new laws I can change? Obligations. Not yet. Council's exactly where I want it to be. So yeah, I think we're just waiting on the next level of legalism before we can start really messing with stuff. Might as well bump up church infrastructure, cavalry, siege, military organization. How much do these cost? 270 each. Yeah, we'll wait to get another level of siege and another level of cavalry before we worry about. Eh. And we'll go ahead and bump those up. White stag. Let's go find it. Let's get out of debt. Let's find some stags. Let's appoint a marshal. Perfect. He is a viceroy. He wants to be on the council. He is now on the council. Is he in hiding? Apparently. Or in seclusion, rather. Aztec invaders, oh no! Festive outing in the wild. Viceroy Gorli and I left... Oh, is he... Oh yeah, he is gay, okay. Left the main party and walked down to a nearby stream, chatting amicably. Hours sitting on a cliff together, watching the water flow. This, this is kind of a sugar daddy situation here. Yeah, I'm like more than 20 years older than him. A strange tension has grown between us. Attraction for another man? Well, he had a male lover before, so I don't know why that would be surprising to him. As we get up to leave, he suddenly leans in and whispers softly in my ear. Uh, let's see. Fall him into the warm water. How rude, or it'll never happen. Yeah, let's go for it. Um, affliction spreading. Yeah, I don't really care. Don't get me stressed. Don't give me the stress trait. All right, cool. Loyal servants such as I, uh, nope, placate you with my diplomacy skill. <laughs> I appreciate loyal servants, but, man, just all the entitlement these days that loyal servants feel. It's, it's unconscionable. All right. About time to start hiring some new knights. The leader of a revolt, no? Uh, maybe if you win. Nice, okay, so I got some cash. Sacrifice, don't care. New important decisions. Recruit a new physician. Let's do it. We need a new chaplain. This guy will do just fine. Proselytize. Quinn still Catholic? Yep. Does my, uh, does he want control of... Why does he have a minus 10 for imperial administration? He's a he's an a, appointed imperial official. He's not a hereditary landholder. Uh, let's see. So one of the priests from Dornoch arrived at your court. The cynical priest introduced himself as Riasit and expressed a wish to serve you. Although seeing as this individual is shunned by the rest of the priests, the religious authorities are unlikely to approve. He's a renowned physician. That's good enough for me. 